Hello friends, hey guys, Prakash here again. So welcome back to my channel. We are continuing and finishing the Venus in the Amazing series. This is the 12th episode of it. Venus is the Graha, as you know, it's anchored to the materialistic world. Everything that we do, you know, we are just so connected to the materialistic world. It explore it, um, loving it, appreciating the beauty of the universe, everything, right? everything, the existence is experienced by Venus, which is why Venus is associated with love, joy, um, empathy, and all, and also happiness, right? Everything is so um, inclusive, you know, you feel one with the existence, but it is a materialistic um, uh, existence, physical, everything that we can touch and see, everything tangible, right? Everything that we, we experience with our indriyas. Now, the 12th is quite the opposite. The 12th is a spiritual, you know, hardcore spirituality, right? Um, although it may seem like a dissonance, uh, like a, um, you know, this dichotomy here, but there is a beauty in that chaos, okay? So if you have a well-dignified and a powerful 12th house, what are the top five amazing things? Oh, for, I think I, I forgot to mention about the 12th. The 12th is where you live your life with sanctity. This is where the Purusharthas come into a culmination. The Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha comes into the zenith, the brim uh, of everything. Uh, and where you will live your life without that oneness, that, that ego. The ahamkara uh, is destroyed here. You see people uh, as an Atma, as a soul, not as any other categories, right? Color, caste, creed, uh, you know, job, academic status, uh, social status, whatever. You don't see them. People, you see people as as who they are, right? You also accept the fact that you you are living in this world, sharing this world with the, you know, plants, animals, the, the insects and also the microorganisms, you, you have that feeling within you. you. You are out of the boundaries of selfishness. Okay, so that's 12. So what happens when these two um, entities get together? It, it comes into this beautiful synergy, okay? Number one is your ability to forgive people. And forgiving yourself. You know, sometimes things happen, you know, people tend to hurt your feelings uh, or sometimes you do, you have done something, right? Something that you feel bad about it. But then if you don't forgive either way, if you don't forgive yourself, if you don't forgive the person who have done bad to you, then you're carrying a, a, a burden, okay? This baggage of anxiety, um, guilt, um, you know, what not, you know, all this mental unrest is being snowballed in you and every, everything, every time you go, you, you don't release that. So what happens, you have mental instability. And of course, after mental instability is mental diseases and conditions and things like that. So we don't want that, right? So Venus in the 12th gives a person the ability to forgive not just others, but more importantly, yourself. You have a bad habit, you've done something, and you think about it and say, that's okay, you know, I've done something wrong and I will not do it again. But the fact is, I forgive myself. Okay, And, and that's uh, the transaction has been cleared there. All right, that's number one. Number two is the sense of extrapolation. You don't accept things as what they are. Someone comes and tells you something, you, you don't just take it like that. You extrapolate it. Okay, you don't deny them. Okay, you, you're not being arrogant here. You don't deny, but you just cannot accept what people are saying. Uh, you need to check, you need to deep, you know, dive deep in and to understand what's going on. Uh, that extrapolation gives you more uh, confidence within yourself, you know, or else if it's just like, uh, you know, someone saying something or a rumor or a hearsay, you don't really like those. You want to find the root of things, number two, right? Uh, number three uh, is your work is worship. This is the classic one for Venus in the 12th. They will just work regardless of a lousy boss, a bad pay, or a, you know, you know, um, jealous colleagues. Um, you know, it's a hazardous environment. It doesn't matter. Karmanyavadi karishte ma palishu katachana. It doesn't matter. Just do your work. You know, work is worship for them. All right. Um, number four is they kiss the fleeting moment. Right. You know. Things happen as you go in life, right? The moment that has gone, that has passed, it they accept it as a as a, as a 
as something which is a an experience not not something which is bad or good but in an experience so you kiss the fleeting moment you don't really get connected with it what has passed has been passed that's okay it is an experience i had a good time i had a bad time i had a heartache you know my you know i was embarrassed or i was you know in a very happy and joyful state it doesn't matter what has happened it is has happened right gautama buddha says shanigam shanigam sarvam shanigam shanigam is momentarily transitory everything is is, is moving right because the fact is and i don't want to you know to be harsh here but we are all dying aren't we right you know whatever that we have started eventually there is a stop right all of us will stop one day it so the moments that has passed by although yes it's important you learn from your lessons but you should not really get connected with it because you know eventually you, you know we will stop right so that's why gautama buddha says shanigam shanigam sarvam shanigam momentarily things are just changing it's momentarily um the last but not the least is love and empathy these people they just they see people with love uh, and, and they connect with how they are feeling not how he or she wants to express you know they are great listeners they want to know what's going on in your life they ask more questions than talking right uh, and this makes them such a great person to be you know these people they really understand how your feelings uh, and and they will you know they will react in that way so these are the top five amazing things that i've seen over the years and i hope um, this is something that may be educational for you but and and i would like to know as well if you have these qualities in you so take care and i'll see you on a new series thank you namaste